So, welcome to another edition of one of my little videos here. Um, today, I thought I would take it back pretty, pretty far. And see how many people actually remember this game. This is Evil Genius. And in uh, Evil Genius, obviously, you are an evil genius. My little Dr. Evil looking man here. And the goal is to build up a secret lair of uh, evil operations and bit by bit eventually take over the world through missions and whatnot. So, simplistic as it is, you have minions, these little guys here, and you have like a general type character who is basically a bodyguard. I don't remember what they call them. Henchmen, that's what they call them. Henchmen. And, you know, like I said, you start, you build up your base. It's just like any type of game, I guess you could say, like Dungeon Keeper or anything. And actually, I don't think I've ever actually really seen a video of this game before. And, uh, frankly, this, this game was great. I used to play the shit out of this game, actually. Um, so, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to start, you know, by building our evil lair, that corridor might have actually been a little too small but whatever it's been a while so let's make this room right here uh in hindsight again this is probably not the best place to put where i'm gonna store all of my money but i'm gonna be a jackass so that's that's how we're gonna start that out so let's get them to build that a briefcase rack to start us out and let's get moving see, I've got my little samurai guy here there's actually three evil geniuses you can pick from. You've got this guy, who's just like a German guy, your stereotypical, stereotypical evil genius, I suppose. You have a rich Russian duchess, and then you have a Japanese-type guy, Korean or something or another, some type of Asian guy. And uh, you can choose either which one of them. They all have a certain thing they're good at. I do not remember what this guy's good at. And they each come with their own bodyguard. I'm actually mildly disturbed as to why this is taking so long for them to blow that up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, just waiting. Okay, cool. So, so we begin. World domination starts with the construction of corridor, I suppose. But as you can see, I've got my whole little island here. You rotate the camera. Let's look around. And I've got plenty of space to build in the mountain. I never really got into the whole there's a there's a like a tourism thing you can kind of do later on in this game that never really interested me all that much so I never really picked up on it but you can build like a hotel outside like in this huge area here and make money off of that as well and you can also kind of like you know throw people off like oh, oh, oh yeah I don't have anything going on on this island it's actually just a hotel resort which by and by is actually quite interesting so, I'm going to continue by making, actually, a longer corridor. I think that's how I'll start this. Yeah, let's make a bigger corridor. Make some space. There we motherfuckers. And we are going to put a door right there. Let's put it right there. So, uh, later on in the game, you actually get, like, heavy security doors and stuff like that. So... We'll put a fire extinguisher right there, just in case. Because you never know. Evil layers burn down just like everything else. You'd be surprised. You would imagine they would actually make it, like, fireproof or something. You know, an underground bunker. I don't really see anything that can really catch on fire. But, you know, whatever. I'm an evil genius. Alright, so let's build a control room. Now, this is, like, the brain network of your... Empire, I guess you could say. Let's call it Empire. Yeah, let's do that. And uh, this is where it's all going to start. Right here. I'm going to build all that. Actually, shit. I don't remember how big that corridor was. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Yeah. I'll do this. I'll just add one more little row. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just one row. Actually, then my door might be... Oh, okay. Well, that works out nicely. I'll do that. And we'll put some computers in this shit. There we 
go. There we go, and a memory bank. And since I'm a broke evil genius to start out with, let's leave it at that. Now, um, you can actually go to your menu screen, or your, like, your minion screen, and hire more minions. And I guess your nefarious agents go throughout the world to get more of them. Where they find them, I do not know. I don't actually know how you would be hired to be a minion in the politics of world domination, I suppose. Yes, a door that leads to another door. That's my type of security. Actually, you know what? In hindsight, I definitely should have put that briefcase rack over here. Okay, whatever. Well, we're just starting now. We're just evil, the beginners. And something that will happen as the game continues on is you will have guys like these. I think these are actually investigators. And uh, later they become, depending on how evil you become and, and as you gain infamy, you they actually kind of upgrade and get more powerful and they start carrying like machine guns and stuff like that and eventually your island will be swarming with those guys to the point where it's just ridiculous I remember back when I used to play this game when I was younger I definitely used cheats it was too much work to sit there and try to make money so I would just cheat so I could get all my stuff which in hindsight was not a bad idea but I think I'm gonna try to play this legitly Let's see how far I can get before I either A, get bored, or B, fall asleep. It's kind of late, so. <sighs> so, as I'm waiting for my rooms to build, let me just go put my little evil genius guy over here. And actually, I'm going to blow this room up now that, yes, now that I have another strong room built, because, you know, Douchebags like these. Actually, I'm gonna go send my little samurai guy to go kill them so they don't steal any of my gold. Because, I mean, what evil lair can run off of a lack of gold? Which, actually, if you think about it, the way world politics and money, exchange of money, and whatnot, that actually probably would be a good idea. But whatever. So, this is a fight, kind of. There we go. Yeah, this is a fight. This is my uh, guy kicking ass and taking names. And they're running. Where are they running to? Go, 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 Samurai. Kill them. Oh, that's right. You have to put tags on them. I forgot about that. So later on, uh, you can actually capture them and stuff like that and interrogate them, which is actually quite humorous to sit there and watch them do evil stuff. Ooh, look at that. Task complete. What did I do? Okay, I killed people. Sweet. All right. Uh, oh, right. I need to build a barracks. I need a place for my evil minions to sleep. I mean, who doesn't need those? And I'm going to build a really big-ass room for this. Like, it just doesn't make sense why this room would be this big. But whatever. Because I remember a million times, of even into, like, the later era. How do I how do I turn this? Oh, that that's how. Okay. Object purchase order confirmed. Right, so let's see. Shift. Oh, sweet. Basic strategy mechanics. Awesome. Object has been ordered. I'm going to be one Object broke evil genius here in a minute. Object it's actually ordered. still too early in the game for me to develop Object any type of... Uh, oh, shit. No, no, no. Put that down. Put it away. Put it away. I don't want it anymore. Okay, there we go. Can, can I move that? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright. See? We're learning. We are learning. That's the important part here. Learning. Standard door. Okay. Sweet. Alright, so that's a nice little start to my barracks, I suppose. I won't really go too much further into that for now. I know that eventually you start to run out of power. You're, you need power, as you can see right here. I have 20. It's being generated by nothing. Oh, sweet. So I unlocked the world domination screen. And this is it right here. As you can see, I have five minions and I have my henchmen. And I can actually send them out to different parts of the world to perform missions. Like right here, we have Earplug. And uh, this is just one of those generic missions that really doesn't do much. I guess it just kind of progresses the story or something. Um, as does these other ones. They start out, obviously, pretty simple, pretty easy to do, and they start to become quite demanding, especially once you get more powerful minions and whatnot. It, it, it literally gets to the point where you will lose multiple minions per mission. But 
and that, that's actually how you make money as well. Is it's, it's a very important part of it. Is you send guys. Let me go back to that screen. You'll send a guy like say I send five workers here. They'll generate like a thousand dollars every sixty seconds. They'll steal and plot and set up racketeering important rings, information. all that good stuff. All right. Oh look, yes. I need a place for the body bags. And actually, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna connect it to this room here. Actually, is that smart? Might not be. Let me connect it to this room instead. Yeah, that should be good enough. I don't need anything too special for you know, a bunch of body bags. Object purchase order confirmed. Okay, yeah, that should be good enough. Right, build. Sweet. Okay, so now I have a place to store the bodies. And strangely enough, it's right where people sleep. I won't give you any more nightmares here, I hope. Actually, I can't wait till they build those. I can't wait to get my capacity up once uh, they get these lockers. Lockers improve capacity. and You know, your minions have certain needs. It's just like any... I guess you could say they're kind of like sim characters almost. They all have like a certain... Let's see, let's zoom in. Uh, yeah, their endurance, tension, smarts, loyalty, and health. And I can tell you something. If they're... If any of these gets like drops down to zero, they literally will not move anymore. They will just stand there and become completely and utterly useless. And it will literally grind your everything to a halt. So it's important to make sure their needs are met and they are happy little jackasses. Otherwise, you won't go far in the evil universe established here. I never really understood why that little shack was there because it seems like it has no practical use outside of holding your strong room in the beginning and look like here's another shack but this one you can't build anything in whatever aesthetic who lives in those houses anyway there's another question like when you start out who owned this island before because obviously nobody lives here I mean the occasional like people, tourists and crap will just show up or, you know, James Bond type agents to kill me, but aside from that, nothing really lived here. It's kind of inhospitable. I don't really see where anybody could, like, farm. Maybe they could fish. They could fish. That'd be logical. I'm sure you there's lots of fish. Oh, here's another statistics. one of our little videos. These one of the other the things I well really being. loved about this game the was the for the every team. single bit of the game, health they have a very extensive amount of videos that, like, right here, zero, they're explaining they the needs. That's awesome. Loyalty represents commitment to and that, that was always great. I loved it. But, uh, yeah, I don't care enough to watch it. But the point remains, I think that that's really, really awesome because, you know, a lot of games really don't do that nowadays. I mean, like, throw you into some really cheap tutorial mission that doesn't really help you to learn the more deeper strategies of the game. They kind of leave you to figure that out for yourself, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, I suppose, but, you know, I'm, I'm a jackass, so what can I say? And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to just compact this as much as possible. So it's not going to be pretty in the least. Yeah, let me put that. Well, let me put it right there. Okay. Time clock. Oh yeah, and you can always build a time clock to make sure there is always a minion in a room. I always thought that was a great idea too. Because, you know, sometimes, because they're interchangeable minions, sometimes they might just disappear off into the, the nether waste of your island or something. and Or some of them may dick around too much in the mess hall. So I always thought that was kind of cool. You'd have a time clock to make sure there's at least oh so and so many guys here. God, this game's awesome. Hey, look, there is a is that a maid. Yes, it's a maid. Kind of makes you wonder what she's doing here, right? But actually, she's important to the story, so it's it's relevant. But at the same time, it's kind of like a maid. What is a maid doing on this island? She just randomly decided to vacation to go clean up some evil genius's lair or something? Where would you even hear about that? Like Craigslist or something? Jesus. Well, if they hurry up and build this, I'll capture her and show y'all an interrogation real quick. 
That's not looking. Oh yeah, another thing. You can build traps. I never really got into it. But again, a really awesome thing. Because literally right here, we got a poison gas cage trap. Literally, you put it like right there at the entrance. And it will drop down and kill people. Pretty awesome. And the confusing pop-up trap. I imagine they just shoot at it if it pops up. Like any type of thing like that. Where did that maid go? I'm going to go ahead and like put a... See, here's the uh, the capture one, and they'll put them in a holding cell and, you know, kick their ass and shit like that. Yeah. Here's my little evil genius guy. He's getting kind of pissed off. Doesn't have a little room to sit in or nothing. Nobody's, you know, manning the command banks. Oh, maybe I should explain the importance of this. Um, essentially, the more of these you build, the little computer desk here, the control panels, and you go on here... It actually will give you um, detailed information about that area. It'll tell you like how many guys are there or something like that. Like you see other these missions where it says risk and time and heat and notoriety. Well, if you have control panels fully manned, they will tell you just how much how much time it'll take to do that mission or how much notoriety you'll gain for doing that mission, so on and so forth. And the memory banks actually increase the time allotted for you to view that because it's actually based you can only view that on a certain amount of time so like let's say two minutes at a time and the more memory banks you build actually increases the amount of time you get to view that information who even made this game I, I don't even remember that but god they, they really thought this out this is probably actually one of the best, like, base building kind of thing, strategy games I've really played in a while. Not much comes close. Not much. I played that Dungeons game. It's, it's not bad, but it's, it's, I don't know. This was just so much smoother. And I mean, come on. You're an evil genius. You've got henchmen and minions. They do your evil bidding. And you have a lady who just speaks out over the intercom every so often that you have absolutely no idea where she's coming from who teaches you through videos how to play the game so interesting tells you how to be a genius as if she's done it before always thought that was kind of weird about instructor characters they act like they've been doing this shit for years it's like where did you where did you learn how to do that but you know whatever anyway this has been part one of my evil genius video um Hopefully, if I plan on doing more of it, I will. And honestly, how much I'm enjoying this game right now. It has nighttime and daytime effects, too. I didn't even notice that. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. And I'm going to make more videos of this soon. I'm sure. I'm, I'm kind of enjoying this right now. Reliving the childhood and everything. Alright, guys. Good night.